Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Monday morning edition of the Daily Market Commentary. I'm your host, Chuck Fulkerson. Hope everybody had an absolutely amazing weekend, as well as a great Friday, as we weren't with you on Friday, took a day off, decided it was time to, to spend the morning with my kids who wanted to play around, and so I didn't get a chance to get the video up, but I'm sure you all fared out just fine. We're going to do today what we do each and every day, look at the same 10 to 12 futures markets from an educational perspective, looking for potential breakouts as well as reversal trades. For those of you new to the channel, click the subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get the updates as they come out. Let's dive right in. So the S&P today, we're down four points. Um, you know, there's there's talk of the the trade tariffs and what's happening uh, in the U.S. China uh, quote unquote trade war. Remember this: they're talking about two hundred billion dollars worth of goods that are going to get taxed. Well, in the world of trillion dollar companies, two hundred billion dollars worth of goods getting taxed really isn't all that much. Um, you know, it's it. People hear the word "b" the billion word, and they think that oh my goodness, it's it's an earth-shatteringly large amount. It's not necessarily the case. So I actually don't feel like we're going to get that big of a reaction off of it. And if we do, um, you know, it may be an opportunity to buy. And so one of the areas I'm looking at here in the S and P is this area down here, where we had a little bit of basing before a very strong move higher. This is off the hourly chart. Now, um, you know, we also have a potential at reversal back at this all-time high. I am not personally a huge fan of shorting off of the all-time high. I've always found it to be a little bit more productive to get long off of a breakout from that all-time high uh, if indeed price breaks out above that area. So for now, my reversal point would be this one down here in the S&P. Now that S&P reversal point is echoed with the NASDAQ reversal point down here. Um, that NASDAQ reversal point, a little bit of sideways, nice strong move higher. Uh, if you're so inclined, there's a potential to get short on a breakdown below this area here. I'm just not sure that that level will hold up. Um, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable doing that really in an overnight session, but you know, now that we're heading towards the U.S. market open, it might be worth taking a look at. Uh, in crude oil. So in crude oil, actually, and some of these levels I had looked at last night in our live trading room, um, we had, had put up and set up a couple of these trades in the live trading room, uh, and we were looking at a potential breakdown below 68.74, and the trade was set and just never got below that area. So that level still act, could act as a breakdown point. Um, for those of you that are interested in a, in a potential breakdown short, the market's really chopping along sideways in oil. Um, one of the areas that we could also get a reversal is this area right up here. I'm not a huge fan of the time of the day that it was formed, being there at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but it is a little bit of basing before a pretty decent little move down, and it's not yet been touched. Um, I w we didn't do a video on Friday, but this big candle movement here is a reaction off of levels that we had already had in place. Uh, and so this was a nice touch and go. So those of you that took that trade, congratulations on that short for those of you that were able to catch that one uh, and did pretty well with it. Uh, in gold, so in gold, we've got a couple of levels that might be of interest. Uh, we I spent a lot of time talking about it last night in the uh, in our in our trading room, in our live trading room. Uh, there's not a whole lot that I want to cover in gold today. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm not looking here, you know, at anything sp spectacular at the moment. There may be an area uh, on the rally, but I'm going to leave that area be for now, uh, since it uh, doesn't look like we've we, we didn't reach there in the overnight hours. We might catch, you know, might catch this area up here later today, uh, but we're not quite there as of yet. Looking at our currency markets, uh, in our currency markets, I have the bonds. This breakout level that has been here forever. Uh, is still not been touched. Uh, I like to see a little bit of basing before the breakout, and that breakout level still holds true. I'm going to leave that one in play. In the Aussie, we have a breakout down here still in play. It kind of teased us a little bit with a small breakout and then popped back up. I'm still leaving this, uh, this uh, Aussie area intact. Uh, potential for a reversal in the Aussie at this area right here. 
um, we're actually starting to lose momentum on this rally up and starting to roll over. So potentially, if you wanted to get short, but you're not confident in that level up above us, you could get short just below this candle's low right here uh, and allow that to run down for, you know, you can get a decent move, I think, out of that, even down to this uh, 7129 area. So a little tiny move out of that. Uh, in the euro, we've come back up to an area where we may see a small reversal. This is after the uh, after the gap on the rollover, so keep an eye on this potential area here for a rollover coming down from there in the euro. And then the Canadian, we're not really all that close. Last but certainly not least, Great British Pound, Japanese Yen. So for those of you that took the British Pound trade, we had a nice trade into the level. It gave us a nice touch and move away, uh, hit our profit objective, and now is bounced up from that area. So I'm gonna get rid of this line here. So the British pound level worked out pretty well. And the Japanese yen came down into this area and gapped up, but the gap up was on the contract rollover. So while you may, you probably did not grab this trade because you're not holding that over the contract rollover. So we can't count this trade on our, on our uh, if you will, you know, trades to take because of, of when it, it, it hit that entry point. So we're gonna remove that level. Um, so that being said, I'm going to turn this thing off for the day, a fairly short one today. Uh, keep an eye on what happens with the tariffs. We'll see if volume is a bit lower today. If volume's a bit lower today, it could just be a lot of people sitting on the sidelines and waiting. But overall, we've still got our bullish sentiment intact. There's no reason to change our overall big picture bullishness. So until tomorrow, everybody, hope you have a great trading day. If you need something, please reach out. Support at tradersarmy.com. Thanks so much. Talk to you later.